And now it is time for the true benchmark of what makes a video game good. Are they going to turn this fishing segment into a minigame? Because it is well known in the gaming community that if a game has a fishing minigame, it is instantly a good game. I don't make the rules. So let's see here. Look, holly boy, see that red thing over by there? I reckon I found a fishy friend. What red thing? I what? Better go take a closer look, though. Just make sure, in it. What do I have to go over there? Who is going to do it? Freddy the fish inspector? What about Freddy Fish? Hop in, hop on them rickety-looking bits of wood. You'll be fine. Ah, oh, gee. All right, I guess I'll try. He up. Parkour's like a boss. Hell, oh, there it is. Ah. Ah! He got away! Sorry. We literally did what he told us to do. He's a lively one, alright. I think he went off towards the palace, early boy. After him! Oh god. If only the walk speed was faster, then I wouldn't have such a problem with this. Because, good god, we move so slow! He's not even running, he's going for like a nice jog. And also, those pants barely even go to his ankles. They're like mom pants. Then again, his mom can't exactly judge him because she's not exactly here. That was dark. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, treasure chest. And fuck that red herring. I just want some stuff. A bread. A running speed upgrade? Oh my god, I would love that. What do we got here? Well, found him. So this is the king's favorite fish, huh? Tidy, that's a red herring if I ever saw one. Now we can get ourselves an audience with the king. Let's head back and see the palace card, shall we? Oh, I mean, what's this rock about? What's the story behind this? Uh, of course there's nothing. Who the fuck are you? Another Fire Emblem character, I see. Oh, what's up with you, man? Look at my pal you do. Huh? Giving this to me? Spirit medium spell. Well, fancy that. That's a page for the wizard's companion, that is. What's this like a squirt doing with it? Can't hear you. Do you think he can't speak? That's not it, man. If I'm not very much mistaken. Yep, must be. That's probably he just gave you. Give it to Troy, early boy. You'll soon see. Well, all right, then. Uh, magic. Uh, this thing. Or no, wait, I'm doing this wrong. Uh, creature cage, lock it, lock it? No. Turn, journal? No. What is the button for this? Telling stone? No. I'll figure this out eventually. <laughs> out of that menu? I just, I feel like, wouldn't it be in magic? Oh, wait. Oh, I had to press square. I'm dumb. Spirit medium. Allows the caster to speak to the spirits of the departed. My goodness, it worked. Jeepers, creepers, you could talk. Of course I could talk, silly. You cast spirit medium on me, didn't you? That's what it does. You mean to tell me you cast a spell without knowing what it did? Kind of a wizard, are you? Feature reference, Spirit Medium lets you speak to the spooky spirits of the dead. It literally says that in the description, you piece of cardboard. So I was right. You're a flipping ghost, isn't it? A ghost? Jinkies? You mean to tell me that ghosts really exist? Like, Scoob, we found a live one! 
Of course they do. Wizards see them all the time. I was a wizard too once, you know. Thanks to that idiot, the Dark Jinn, there aren't too many wizards left. So when I saw you, I thought I'd better hand that page over. You're the first wizard I've seen in I don't know how long. Jinkies, can I really keep it? Of course, it's the least I could do to say thanks for looking after my book. Ah, yes, a live dead person. <laughs> You got your wise cross sunshine. That's our book, that is. Who are you, anyway? I'm Horace, although you probably know me better as the Sage of Ages. The Sages. Who has believed that a little midget like you is the Sage of Flippin' Ages? What do you call it, a midget pipsqueak? Ah, uh, well, shit. I'm a fairy in it. I'm supposed to be this size, cheeky little. You're called Ollie, aren't you? You're on a journey in our world? Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll go on a little journey myself. I haven't taken a look around our world for a long time. Well, you don't have to worry about enemy encounters, because you're dead. Hang south to the desert. Hopefully we'll meet again at the town down there. Spoiler alert, there's a desert? Well, that was, uh, that was pretty helpful. I don't know when we'll use anything like that again, but that was neat. A slice of pie! Wow! Honestly, wow, so this was definitely worth our time. Alright, let's bring over this red herring then. You again? I'm afraid we still have a locate King Tom's pet. Even though it's in your peripheral vision. Any good RPG has a desert segment, and better ones don't have one at all. <laughs> yes. This one, you mean? Came to deliver the king's fish back to him, sir. And if you keep making a stall here, it'll probably be dead. Hi, Noah Regal Scarlet. Tons of the king's beloved red herring anywhere. Well, I'll be. Hi, Rick, and he must have swum out through the sewers into town, like. I must let the other guards know right away, including the one standing right next to me that is probably seeing this encounter right now. If I remember rightly, you were... That's right. We need to see the king. With him in his current state... What? Something up, is there? You say that. I mentioned that person charged with caring for the reds... For the king's red hair and just let it escape. Everyone in the palace has grown terribly lax of late. So lax that we need to enlist the help of passing travelers, as you know only too well. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but the king himself has been... Indolence personified, and it seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. Indolence? Isn't that, like, laziness? I'm afraid so. Well, perhaps being reunited with his beloved Red Herring will give him the boost he needs. Okay. Dumb hypothesis. However, what if we just go through the seven deadly sins in this game? Because this is just a prime example of sloth. Like, I feel like you could easily, like, put, like, a theme of the seven deadly sins in here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing, as I tend to do. Tidy, we're off to see the king. Come on, early boy. A pleasure to meet you, you and me, Algisty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? That's right. I thought yes, that was Stewie Griffin. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh, Come now, don't be shy. No, I'm gonna well, be shy. You're well, creepy. Uh, Out with it now. We need your wand. Uh, uh, one's wand. Mm, uh, huh? What did you say? <laughs> Crikey! Huh? Crikey! Criminy. Uh, that smell. Could it be? How is that a smell kind of thing? That's right, you will be Algisty. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... He fits in the hero's clothes, obviously. Mm. Ah. 
It's not one's concern. <sighs> you may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand? Oh, there's eight types of heart, not Looks seven. Like Maybe like the eighth type of heart is like something special. Ah, oh, come on. It's one nasty kitty. Would have been Nido. Did you knew what you were doing there? So how do we get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken hearted he is, or I'm broken headed. I feel like it's a little bit of both. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken hearted. Lacking pride, perhaps? With him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? The guard outside of town was short on enthusiasm too, huh? Indeed he was, early boy. Like I say, I reckon the king's brokenheartedness is striking everyone else to end with him. But the other guard gave him gave us some of his enthusiasm to help his friend. We should go ask him for some more. No, 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 man. Oh, go doing that. It's a very important rule about borrowing pieces of people's hearts. You can't go take the same piece of heart from the same person twice, see? One little scoop off the top is all it's safe to borrow. I'll be real careful from now on. Travel the town for someone else with get up and go a plenty in it. It's a sleepy old place, but there's bound to be someone somewhere. You know, plum, the only problem is where? Ding dong, there's not exactly village size after all. You might even say it's proper massive. In something of a quandary, are we? Flipping heck, man. Ah, oh, what? I didn't even get to press the. Okay. Hi, Mr. Rock. You seem perplexed by young friends. I thought you might benefit from a dose of my expansive knowledge. Thanks, that's real nice of you. You see, we need to borrow a piece of somebody's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Mm. Elementary, my dear Oliver. In times like these, just look to your locket. Um, how do you mean? Well, not only can it carry pieces of heart, the locket is also extremely sensitive to their proximity. It will glow when they are nearby. Tidy, so we could use it to track down some enthusiasm then, in it. Allow me to tell you a little more about that locket of yours. You will see that it has a habit of glowing brightly from time to time. There's also green dots on the mini-map in case you lack any basic visual fidelity. This is how it reacts in the presence of those who possess one of the heart's virtues in abundance. Incidentally, those with pieces of heart to spare will also glow a verdant green on the minimap in the top right of your screen. Neato! Number eight. It will not serve to tell you which of the virtues the subject has in excess, but it should still prove exceedingly useful to you nonetheless. I just know it will. Now sally forth and seek ye peace and seek ye your piece of heart, young adventurer. Thank you so much, Mr. Rock. That somehow fits in my damn pocket! And if you ever find yourselves in need of knowledge again, you may consider me wholly at your service. Farewell for now, friends. Right, holy boy. Let's have a look around for someone with a drop of enthusiasm to spare then, shall we? <laughs> it's The Rock. Not to be confused with the one at the Game Awards. Or, excuse me, Summer Game Fest. If you're not, it clues up all of a sudden we know we're on the right track. Also, can we just talk about that fucking Dwayne The Rock Johnson at Summer Game Fest? That was just, like, unnecessary. I have, like, a bone to pick with whoever made that decision, because, like... What's frustrating is that... Us co-streamers... So, we are contacted by the Department of, like, co-streaming. There's, like, a manager for that. Shouts to him, by the way. He's a great guy. And... We are told that this is, like... Um, that, like, we are free of any, like, copyright, uh, situations that would, like, bother us. Like, we are exempt from copyright claims. So, we are told we don't have to worry about copyrighted content. The one copyright claim I get from my, uh, Summer Game Fest co-stream was when Dwayne Johnson introduced a trailer for his movie. You cannot tell me that you are DMCA safe and then put an actual movie trailer in your show. Fortunately, I disputed the claim 
on YouTube saying that I was an official co-streamer and they removed the copyright claim. But the fact that, like, I have to do that is just, it's frustrating. Come see my movie and buy this drink. I'm also in Fortnite. Actually, unironically, I've been enjoying the Fortnite plot lately. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver and Drippy just hear a bunch of Raid Shadow Legends advertisements. They're like, what the hell is going on? It's my precious treasure, you see. I can't remember which pod I hid it in. Uh, what sort of treasure is it? Grandmother's red ear. What is it with red objects around here? Fortnite plot. Okay, Fortnite actually has a deeper plot than you would actually expect. I wouldn't believe it either, but it it's a fact. Such a pretty color. Couldn't lend me a pawn. Help me look for it, could you? Sure, I guess. It's in one of those pots you see around town. But is it good, though? It's decent for what it is. I mean, obviously, like, plot is not the main focus of Fortnite, but, like, it does what it sets out to do. Wherever have those little rascals run off to now? It's my boys. The three of them are forever running off and not coming back. I know they're just playing, but I can't help thinking they'll hurt themselves. Today, they're even later than ever. I'm beside myself. No, you're not. You're just standing there. Mother's life is never easy, no matter where you go, eh? Sure. They should bring it to see you no more. Fuck you. <laughs> they can add Sora to Fortnite... Can you just imagine Sora with a fucking gun? That would be... Nah, who am I kidding? I'd actually pay for that. I'd pr I would pay money for that. Like, I'm gonna be 100% transparent. I would definitely pay for that. I've definitely, like, sunk money into Fortnite. I've sunk, like... Uh, ballpark you like 50 bucks into the game. But actually add Barrett. <gasps> yes, that would be so good. Doing a bit of decorating, is it? Well, I always say you can't beat the flower to brighten up things. No, and they do. Changes the arm attachment. Oh my god, yes. I would 100% be on board with that. That would be so cool. Think about how to how about using some flowers. I'm trying to make my doorway prettier, you see. What kind of flowers are you thinking of using? I want something nice and bright, and I'll need some fresh, clean wire to give them, too. Sure, let's do that. Two plains wart flowers and two bottles of spring water. They can't be purchased from the shops. So you have to go look for them out among the rolling hills. It's fine. There's no way Square Enix would collaborate with Fortnite. They never would. Okay, to go foraging then, shall we? Okay, well, just picking up some side quests along the way. Uh, I should probably be going in the direction of, like, my actual quest. Stranger things have happened in the gaming world? I mean, true. I'll forever be thankful of Sora and Smash. I'll, I, you know, that much is true. But yeah, I mean, if it does happen, I would love it. If it doesn't, I can't say I didn't expect that. Tidy! And there's someone around by here with a piece of heart to spare in it. Oh, it's this kid. The fuck are you doing over there? Heh, <laughs> he's a pothead. And the only person around by here is him. Look at him, man. He can barely stand still. He's so eager. Jackpot. Yes, some enthusiasm to spare. That to do, my lad, I'd better me lantern on it, even though it's surgically put into my nose. It hurts to sniff. So go ahead and get it, shall we? Hey, kid, give me your enthusiasm. I want to suck it into a jar. How do you, suspended? I don't suppose you fancy doing us a favor, do you? Stop distracting me, I'm busy. What are you busy doing? Protecting the town from the mice, of course. Oh, I remember hearing about the mice who lived in Ding Dong Dale. Those mice are a menace. They're always running around, getting up to no good. Grown-ups are too lazy to do anything about it. Most of them hardly notice when the mice steal things, and the ones that do don't seem to care. Well, Tommy Stout is not going to stand for it. I know the mice all live down in the well, so I'm standing guard here. 
Any mouse that comes this way is in for a battering. I hate to be that guy, but a broom is not going to do much unless if you try to stab them with the other end. But even then, they move pretty fast, so you won't be able to really reach them. But hey, that's just me. You're right about this one. He's parted with enthusiasm. Over to you, early boy. About to put the plot of Nino Kuni 2 into action? What, we get rid of the rats with the plague? What are you talking about? King Tom seems to be really short on enthusiasm right now. Hey, that's where do you come in, Tommy boy? You've got loads of the stuff. If we gave some of it to King Tom, the whole town would sort itself into a quick shop. We were wondering if you could share some of your enthusiasm with us. I'd do anything to help the king. Cool. Uh, give me your heart, bitch. And there it is. That was strange. Now I know what magic feels like. No one wizarding types, Antius. The spell silly boy. I don't know what to make of them half the time. Does this mean King Tom's gonna be alright now, Oliver? Once the king's back to normal, everyone else should start feeling better too. That's right, man. Your enthusiasm is going to put the spring in everyone's steps, in it? That's great to hear. Till then, though, I better stay here and keep an eye out for the mice. Finally, we can solve the rat plague. I'm sorry, I'm trying to process what you just put in my chat, Hanakamu Kitten. The mice rise up and there's a mouse coup because the cats are racist to mice. The actual plot of Nino Kuni. I'm starting to realize why people think the first game is better than the second game, because Jesus, what is happening? What are they smoking? All right, go onwards to the king. Oh, this kingdom looks so cool. Love this. All right, king, I have part of a child's heart. Why don't you, you know, drink this shit? Hmm. King Tom the 14th. A lazy king. That kind of sounds like a, a parody of a King Louis from France. Not going to spoil the other opening scene in the game, though, because that one is so good blind, even though it's not a spoiler. Good to know. I'm not sure if I'll play Nino Kuni 2, but good to know nonetheless. One is becoming rather tired of these constant interruptions. Sorry, Meow Justice. Just we have something for you. Yeah, we picked it out especially for you, cat face. It'll get rid of the tiredness of yours in no time. Give you a new lease of life between strong teeth, closely fair. I'm not sure that's... Mm, oh, that sounds just a ticket. This accursed fatigue will be the death of one, and dealing with all these visitors is taking its toll. Not to worry, your majesty. A little bit... Your majesty. A little bit of enthusiasm is all you need in it. Here's part of a child's heart. Don't worry about the semantics. Whereas pr we promise it's ethical. It's pro union. So, do you think it works? Let's see, shall we? Hmm. What the devil was one up to? Your meow, Justy, please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Meow Justy, it's Just don't give us any cat nap. adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. But what? Is this true? Yes, your Meow Justy. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Relatable. Hmm, is that so? <laughs> Me when trying to edit YouTube videos. For a while there, it seems one is in your debt. What would you claim is your prize? Hmm? Tidy, you know what to ask for, ain't it, Tolly boy? 
We need a magic wand, your meow just see. No, is that so? Strangely, one feels as if one has had this conversation before. Now one thinks of it, there is a wand one. One prize very highly as a kitten hidden away safely in one's bedchamber. There it is, a hand. And one would be willing to part with it, but one will have to find it first. Return later on and one shall present it to you. Cheekies, thank you very much, your meow just see. So, boy, if you are in search of a wand, can one take it? Uh, can one take it that you are perhaps a wizard? Indeed, he is, Your Majesty. A shiny little princess wizard who doesn't exactly know much magic yet. <clears throat> is that so? Then let one provide you with a spell or two. One's wand will be of little use without spells to cast, after all. Your Majesty, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much. The Spring Lock spell. And rejuvenate. I'm assuming that's like a revive type of spell. Mm, yo -ho -ho. You must enjoy the spells that inspired one so much in one's younger days. One that unlocks things and one that restores things to the form of glory. Eh? What did you get used? What did you used to get up with to with these, Your Majesty? Mm, yeah. None of your business, fairy, now boy. You travel with the familiar, do you not? What is that word to the card of Master Store down in the town that you were to be given permission to shop there? The card of Master Store? What kind of place is that, your meow just see? Hmm, you are sure that you are an adventurer? One cannot help but fear for the safety of such an innocent. No matter, the card of, the card of Master Store simply provides weapons and equipment for the use of familiars. Why not go and browse the products on other web one seeks out one's one? Hmm? We sure will, your meow just see. Thank you very much. Now, one has played to attend to. Come and present yourself to one again in a short while. Well, let's go do just that. Get some new weapons for chat. Because apparently chat is uh, good at fighting. Who knew? <laughs>